The following podcast is scheduled for one fall. From the heart of Broadway in historic downtown Cape Girardeau, this is Pro Wrestling Unscripted. It's October 17th. 17th. Damn it. No, I'll keep going. 2018, and it is Pro Wrestling Unscripted here on the Podzilla 1985 Network. want to thank you guys for tuning in to this train wreck that's already getting on the track and getting off it. My name is it- Shannon Young. <laughs> yes. Down at the end of the table, that's Asa Gray. He's a five-star man. If you want to listen to when the train jumped the tracks... For just a dollar, yeah, at our Patreon, yeah. you can you can check out the pre-show. This train just started sideways. Choo choo, uh, Allie, I don't want to scream anymore. Hi. Say it like you did in the pre-show. Hi. I- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to save that for us. Do it. Do the uh, bit. Do the blind Bart. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Uh, and the big D Dalton Anthony. Yo. That was certainly loud. Jeez. It's You're all welcome. screwed up tonight. So we're having audio problems tonight. So if this thing comes off weird, we apologize. Something happened. I don't. You're lucky to be hearing the sound of our voice, you plebeians. I'm sorry. I don't mean it. Please love us. Jesus. Pretty sure there's a gremlin you in the system. just black out there for a second? <laughs> Where am I? He likes beer. Oh. <laughs> I like beer. I like, I like domestic beer. Ace is going to start an 11, but he's going to get to a 15 real quick on this show. Wait a minute. What's our first story? And that's not really a joke. There is going to be something on the show where they'll infuriate one of us. Actually, there definitely about is. About to say, I think there will be for yeah, sure. Yeah, because we talked about it. Uh, tonight, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about, of course, uh, NXT <gasps> UK. We're going to talk about uh, Crown Jewel. Uh, yet doy. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the hot topic of the night. Everyone's talking about it. Austin Aries and Johnny Impact from Bound for Glory. What the hell is going on over there? We're gonna we're gonna try to figure it out tonight. But let's start off with some. God bless you. You okay? Oh, God had nothing to do with that. God has everything to do with it. <laughs> All right, let's start off by talking about some Chris Jericho. Yes, Chris please. Jericho was. Oh, what's up? Yes, please. Oh, he's he, gonna he's not gonna be at a fifteen right now. He uh was did you, did you see someone asked him on the the internet why weren't you at SmackDown one thousand. And his reply was just, no one asked me. Yeah. <laughs> Which Corey Graves replied and said, I, I sent you a tout. I guess you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> but the Jericho, Jericho Cruise, I'm out of it tonight. The, the Jericho Cruise. The Jericho Cruise is going to be broadcast on Fight TV. That's super cool. I just uh, I saw that got announced, and I'm excited for that because there are a lot of really cool matchups that are happening. Mm-hmm. We don't know if it's like every match, as far as I know. Um, so they're not going to broadcast the whole thing? It'll be the main night. Yeah, it'll probably be like the main night, because there's going to be like rock and wrestling shows like every night over that whole... How, how many shows are they... Like, how many nights is this? I think it's like three or four. Yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah. Because it's a, it's a full-on... It's a cruise. Cruise, yeah. Yeah. So... So, did Jericho... Does he have like a yacht, or did he rent the yacht? How's that work? He... I'm being dead he's, serious. How does that work? He probably said, "Hey, I want to do this thing for a cruise," and he probably knows a guy. Well, no, he. I mean, I'm assuming he's doing. He's working with a cruise line. Yeah. Like, it's, do we know which cruise line? I it, circus. I'm sure it could be. Is found that a cruise out. line? Probably. It used to be at least. I don't I think say, it, it sounds. Very I actually familiar. don't think it is anymore. But uh, googling cruise lines. Well, no, just Google uh, Jericho Cruise and see. I'm sure on his website it says partnered with whatever the cruise company ship. is. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, cruise ship. It's Apollo Crews. But it's super cool. Like, there's a lot of, like that I said. That's going to laugh from Allie. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of really interesting matchups, like the Impact versus Bullet Club stuff and things Alpha like Club that. Alpha Club versus Omega yeah. Club. So that's what I'm assuming is probably going to be uh, on there. Well, hopefully Marty Scroll doesn't take up all the time again. Shut up. Wow. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, we got Punishment Martinez news. I actually broke this one. I was the one that found out about this first, told the internet. Uh, <laughs> Punishment Martinez has signed with WWE. That's exciting. Yeah. Right? I know. It's, he's, uh, he's good. I'm, the internet has not been super kind to the announcement. How come? Uh, Is it because he signed with WWE or do no, they not like Punishment Martinez? Mostly that one. Uh-huh. Um, the, the general, not general consensus because that's not fair, but, uh, some of, the more they out here saying, yeah, uh, like, oh, look, we got Baron Corbin sequel. 
Which isn't entirely wrong. But why when you've got Baron Corbin there? <laughs> but no, he's well, he's he's the uh Constable. No, he's the acting general manager now. Oh, is he not constable anymore? They don't call him that? For real, I can't find anything about who's actually hosting this cruise. Who's to- Go ship. It's the Flying Dutchman. It might be I the Flying it. Dutchman. It's sponsored by... Uh, I'm some- really mad we didn't get tickets. It's by Live Loud, which I don't... Or Live, Live Loud. Live Loud? Yeah. Live Loud. Live Loud sounded really stupid in my head every time I said it, too. Uh, unless it, that is the company, I have no idea. But it's also that and then like... A- Cody, you know everything. <laughs> Get back to us. And I'm so sorry that I didn't take your feelings into consideration on the show the other day. Screw your feelings. Just watch. We're asking him for a favor. Yeah, and he's being a little turd about it. He, um, Th- don't why? use that term on the show. Billy Hills <laughs> will sue you. I, you know, he and I, I represent Billy. He does. I am Sixth his lawyer. Man. I am his lawyer. Sixth man. Oh, the one with uh, the basketball movie. No, I think that's just the with name. With Kadeem Hardison. What is happening? I'm trying to figure I out who's doing no this idea. cruise. Oh, you still here? But wow. you were leaving. What? Rude. No, that was because we had other we had other uh we had, we had other plans for the show she didn't need to be here for. <laughs> but instead Who finds that sexy? <laughs> <laughs> uh we got other signing news. Willie Mack and Ethan Page both signed to Impact. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's they've been working with uh they've been doing stuff with Impact for a little bit now and uh including being in the uh they were at Bound for Glory as well in a tag team match. So I like both of those guys. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen too much of Ethan Page. I've seen Willie Mack. Mm-hmm. And I really I really like Willie Mack. Uh, so you like him better than Rodney Mack? Yes. Yeah. But he was, and Dalton was going to back me up on this, he was the Mack militant. He was. But I, st- I still got to give the edge to Willie Mack. Okay. Well, All right, play. That's <laughs> Hard hitting. Tag team match. Back breaking. Uh, NXT. Everybody on Take <laughs> One-on-one. With the Undertaker. <laughs> NXT UK Tag Championships were unveiled. Not only that, but Dalton, the uh, the show premiered. Yeah, the show Talk premiered. Talk to us about both of those things. Uh, one second. Those belts are gorgeous. Can I say one second? Because I did say talk to us about both of them. All right, cool. I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them. Oh, I, I think th- they're beautiful. I think, I think they're... I'm going to look up a picture of them because I haven't actually seen them yet. I think uh, they're too them. busy. I... They don't make a lot of sense. <clears throat> uh, they're really well done. And from a distance, they look nice. But like the amount of detail just seems there's too much detail. Is yeah. Um, oh wow, they are busy. They so, are pre- they are really nice looking though. Like they're very well done. I just but I like so personally I'm not a huge fan of them. I love I'm I'm gonna agree with Dalton on this one. I love mm-hmm. that style of the intricate like really classy. I mean it is a little tawdry, mm-hmm. but it's it's. I hate the simplistic design of like the WWE titles right now, where it's just the W. Mm-hmm. You know I miss the old titles. Remember the yeah, old these, these UK belts are. They're very old school. Oh, they're so they're good. They're very old school. Also, like, the thing that I love about it, because um, me and uh, Dan were talking about this one day, it's the belts that, like, their base is pretty much just a rectangle up on its end. Mm-hmm. It's it's that, it's a shorter belt, or it looks like a shorter belt, but it's taller. Mm-hmm. I love that look, like the MWR belt. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but it's so gorgeous. Yeah, they're very, very lovely looking. And like the I only said, thing I hate has those stupid side plates. You don't like the side plates? That you can change out, hate that. That's a big thing nowadays. I know, and I hate it. I hate it every time. Instead of just the nameplate changing, or yeah, instead of it having it, which I mean, it's cool that it doesn't have a nameplate. What is it? So again, I, I'm not being difficult or anything, but what is it about those swappable nameplates that you don't like? Because that just seems like a really weird thing for you to be against. Because I think it's kind of interesting that it gives the belt itself a different look. It can based on who's holding it, instead of just everyone holding the belt looks the same. It's just the name that's different. Um, needs a Brahma bull. There it is. I hate when they personalize belts like that. Uh, the spinner belt was god awful. The smoking skull belt was oh, but you ugly. can't say that this is even remotely similar. No, 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 no. But it's one of those things where it's just like, if you look at any promotion, or like, they're the only ones that do that. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, oh, we have these customizable things on our belt. It's a belt. Just you, the belt is all you need. Like you don't need to add stuff to it so you think to make it personal. Because here's the, the thing: belt. like if AJ Styles, do you know what the his uh, plates look like? P one, P one, yeah, and it's baby blue, right? Mm-hmm. On a black belt, not offensive. If he ever wins the universal belt, that is going. That, well, I'll stroke out. You don't think that they would change the color because he's done a red P one? Like he's done. They won't think about it, and it'll annoy me. I'll be like. Bleh. I'm willing to bet they put more thought into it than you're giving them credit yeah. for. Do you remember? Do you remember the one week they had the WWE Championship with the 
uh, black slash under it instead of the red slash, and they did it for one week? No. Yeah, they did that, because I even said that week on PWU, yeah, the belt looked weird, and then I realized what it was. Remember when they unveiled the new belt, and everyone talked about it and not the match? Oh, uh, Rollins Balor? Yeah. Yeah. That was really pissy. Wrestling is weird sometimes. A little bit. Uh, but no, I love these NXT belts. I just, those side plates, I don't know. And it, like, I think it's just the fact of you don't have to change two of the three plates just because a different person won it. I think that's dumb. So you think they should, it should just be the belt and they should have the nameplate and that's it? Yeah. The nameplate should change. Or you know what? Like the UFC belt for the longest time, I don't think it even has a nameplate still. I think it's just the UFC belt. So you don't even think they should put nameplates on it? I mean, if you put a nameplate, put it in the middle like they always had, but... I personally, I kind of agree with you. I always hated when they got their own customized belt because if you're going to do it for some people, why not everybody? See, but again, I don't. But they do do it for everybody. Yeah, because you can go on WWEshop.com and get Sting side. Well, I'm plates. talking about like in the old days, like the Brahma Bull oh, yeah. and then the Smoke and Skull. No, then, I don't like. I don't like. I've I've never been a huge fan of the personalized belts either. Right. Like the, the spinner I, belt. I liked it when Cody changed the. Because unless it I makes, mean, well, that's a belt. He changed the entire belt. Yeah, he changed the fine. strap, didn't he? Yeah, he changed. Well, and, oh no, and the belt. It, the plate it was, itself was different. It used to be the oval IC belt, which is my favorite IC belt. Because like whenever they do things like that, that then it makes sense for not you know because it didn't make sense for people like you know when Edge won the championship from Cena and it still spun. Right. It didn't make sense for anyone else. To have it, a it had the R in it, didn't it? Yeah, and then he put the R in the middle of it, and it still mm-hmm. spun. Do you remember whenever Miz and then lost it like the next week? Yeah. Do you remember when Miz just locked it in the M instead? Mm-hmm. That meant somebody came in and welded the stupid thing. So like I, yeah, so I agree with you. Like I'm I'm not a huge fan of per, of like the personalized belts, like where they change the entire design. And they're the only ones that carry it. I especially hate it whenever they don't change it back whenever someone else wins it. Yeah. Right. But, like, in instances like Cody Rhodes where he just changes the entire belt, not because it's personal, like, it's not a personalized belt. It's just a new championship. Oh, yeah. It's a new look. And even though, yeah, the white strap had ties to Dusty and, like, that made sense, it's it's still the one they use and it still looks really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I... But the, the side surpri- plates are something completely different, the, though. No, yeah. and Because and it's also one of those, like, if somebody wins it at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. uh, they win the world title. They beat Lesnar for it. Mm-hmm. And they're holding the belt. And, like, and it's something I will notice because I'm weird. See, but I like that because it shows who they beat. Oh, I like, that it. is a, in the moment, this was Lesnar's belt, but now it's theirs. I think it's dumb. Well, agree. Which mean, is fine. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm, like, no one's trying to change each other's mind. It's yeah. just... Right. It's weird that you feel so strongly about it to You've me. You've met me. I know, yeah. and you still find new ways to disappoint me every day. All right, guys, let's move on. Dalton, tell me about the UK show. Uh, the main event was really good. Okay. Uh, the one thing that I said whenever I started out, because I completely forget this every time I watch UK stuff, is that this will be my least favorite um, like show to watch. Is it because of the accents? No, I love oh, that. Governor. Hello. No, they don't wear knee pads, and I hate it. Twick or tweet? Twick or tweet? Quick a tweet. Fuck you guys. Allie? Come on. <laughs> this isn't even a bad thing. Yeah. I know, but... Let's go Twick a tweet. I'm going to sound so weird. You, you, you sound think- weird already. You sound like Farrah Fawcett on the David Letterman show. <laughs> <laughs> so you really need to step it up. A I don't. <laughs> I forgot about that. You think you're going to sound weirder than Twick a tweet? Twick a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's done. Don't tell us about uh, the show. Oh, no. I, I Was it a Twick? Or was it a tweet? <laughs> What's the next? Not story? for their knees. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, man, that is my least favorite thing. So this. So you hated Cody Rhodes when he first got in, didn't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> wear knee pads. Did a. Uh, so they unveiled the. I didn't know. Like I completely forgot that uh, it was debuting this week. And when I say I forgot, I didn't know it was debuting this week. It's just one of those things. It's like, also debuting at a weird time. I knew it was October. I knew it was happening in October. Yeah. But it, this does not feel like October. Already, no. like it doesn't seem like it should be October. Yeah, already. it's scary that we're what fourteen days away from freaking Halloween. We are uh, s- uh, ten days away from Red Dead. Oh shit! Are we really? Yeah, next Friday. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so it's just uh, so I completely I'm to sweat now. I, I completely <laughs> lost track of this. So um, this was it's on that it's a WWE Network exclusive show. What uh. How did they introduce it? Like, is it like they did a kickoff thing, or did they just run a show? Like, they've been running a show. Did they do the thing to introduce? They, they had a new uh, video, they had a video package, video package they, but yeah. I don't know if it's going to be the video package every week because mm-hmm. it looked like it was an open because you saw a lot of Johnny Satan. So it's one of those I don't know. But then they also, had an intro as well. Y- oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and it will never not be cool seeing Johnny Saint on a WWE TV. No, Dalton, no. can I ask you, yeah. what did you think? And I'm being completely legit. What did you think of the intro song? It was weird. Yeah, it was funky. I'm fine with it. Was it not just God Save the Queen? <laughs> no, it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> was that racist? No, it's a, it's epic. Oh. Meal time. Epic. It's a. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for that. It was just this weird, really fast, like, rap. Yeah. It was just odd sounding. It's okay. It's WWE. They'll change it in six months. To Coheed and Cambria. <laughs> Give them welcome home. But like, a British, but like a British cover. Welcome home. Have you heard the song before? Yeah. That's not like you're trying to start up a Sega. But so they did like an opening video package kind of establishing what the brand was. Yeah. And then they did a full intro. So I think that was just for that show. So and Pete Dunne is the champion. Right. Yes. Yes. Did he, was he on the show? Yeah, he defended against Noam Dar. Okay, and that this match was, was really good. But this was pre, like this was taped like months ago, wasn't it? Oh, that like weeks know. ago. Was it? If okay. that, because we talked about last week how Dunn had to pull from the that. Oh no, it was like two weeks ago. Was it only that far? I feel like they. Yeah, because these... I think I remember saying I looked at you and be like, "I'm finally getting my show. It's going to be October." Yeah, and I feel like that two weeks ago was still October though. Yeah, oh, three, four weeks ago. Then I don't know. Time's weird. It's an illusion. We still haven't, Kanye, I still haven't, Kanye told me it was a myth. It's I a prison. I haven't seen anything about uh, Pete Dunne's injury. And the, other than he was pulled from that sh- uh, Canada show. The They lead to the Unabomber. What? So, well, if you hit that trap door. Are you saying, the Pete, trap doors. Are you saying yeah. Pete Dunne's the Unabomber? Because I don't think you can substantiate I, those claims. I, I wasn't till now. <laughs> that's why I'd be holding the belt with his teeth. Le- <laughs> no, that's why? Oh, that is why. <laughs> the other thing. Yeah, I know they ain't good look. Oh. What, his teeth? Yeah. I mean, he's British. That's what she said. Uh, Literally. Really? Yeah. Wow, I said it sarcastically. <laughs> You're just racist. Because any time he comes out with the belt. Sarcastically, too. Anytime he comes out with the belt, I just, I, I feel you my feelings. Look through, yeah. You want to look through like, the big book of British smiles? It's funny because you, you are looking through well, the thank smiles. Thank you for joining us to our British listeners. It should be called God Save the Molar. <laughs> Oh. Dear <laughs> Lord. <Okay. laughs> Fucking well, Dalton's laughing at someone's yeah. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't cover your mouth. They can't see them. <laughs> That's why we don't have the video. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're a dick. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of dicks, um, WWE is starting to face mainstream criticism for the Crown Jewel event which is going to take place in Saudi Arabia, but you wouldn't know it by the fact that they've stopped mentioning that part. Yep. They've completely, uh, if you watch Raw or SmackDown, they've completely stopped uh, saying where it's coming from, uh, where where it's going to be broadcast from, as well as apparently their social media uh, have just started referring to it as only as the crown jewel. The Uh, Undertaker got booed on SmackDown when he uh, talked about it. When he said said it, uh, there have been articles popping up on uh, Yahoo!, uh, Sports Illustrated, like a lot of mainstream coverage is starting. They're starting to get a lot of mainstream like, hey, so here's this deal. This is kind of dicey. It was on last week tonight. I was about to say, yeah, John Oliver skewed him. He had about he had about a minute. Uh, Which, to be fair, I want to give credit to John Oliver. Mm-hmm. He did not hit the low-hanging fruit of insulting yes, wrestling. Yes, he did. Not really. He and he, The way he ended that bit was by the homoerotic... Okay, that that's true. Like, and but, that was super disappointing to see. It's like, really, you are so talent. Like, you but, have such a talented writing team, and he, that's he, what you go uh-huh. for. That that's pretty bad. I forgot about that. But I mean, he didn't do the whole wrestling's fake thing. He didn't do that. I would have rather that. Well, I again forgot he did the homoerotic thing. Yeah. What did he say about homoerotic? Basically, he that was they're like, rolling around the, together. The 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 odds of WWE going are higher than like are the same as the odds of there being a homoerotic overture to or overtones to professional wrestling it was something like that it wasn't yeah. easy um but no he but he did talk about like they were we were uh and the viewers were uh treated to just a shameless propaganda of like oh here from progressive saudi arabia like they the thing of john cena talking in the ring about how great saudi is and, yeah uh yeah so oh. it's it, what's that jordan grace signed a two-year deal with impact neat more signing yeah. news that's cool. 19 hours ago is whenever our cult of, it's on a like a Facebook page I'm on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But I yeah. just I sorry for interrupting. I just No, that's that. like that. I I would have missed that. So that's super cool. Also, I thought she was injured. 
Didn't she have like a shoulder injury? No, she had an ankle injury. She rolled her ankle. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can still wrestle on a rolled ankle. Yeah. But obviously, Saudi Arabia in a lot of trouble right now for the alleged murder. And I say alleged. I have to say alleged because there's no evidence they, to the well, contrary yet. Except for the fact that they're like preparing a statement saying that it was an interrogation gone wrong. That is the rumor, but there's no proof yet. Yeah. Like, like until it's actually like. There's no proof other than. What they said they have. And the, you know, the videotape of him but, going but again, into the hotel. Well, that okay, that. But they, they say there's audio of the killing. Like they actually Shit. are. Yeah, they're in possession of audio of the killing. And that's why they're preparing the statement of, yes, this was an interrogation. They're also saying that it was not ordered by the Saudis, that it was a rogue agent that did it himself. And he's going to be arrested. 009. Sure. But to be fair, again, none of this has been like released yet so this mm-hmm. is all speculation of what is being reported and that's yeah. why i say allege do i believe it happened but in this business you have to be very specific you know that yeah um but with that said they are coming this, under super fire for all of this and this is also just kind of the icing on the human rights violations cake right of why you like this whole thing is pretty gross and they're still pushing it i I saw an interview with randy orton from tmz where he was talking about how it's important that they go over there because they could create change and stuff Mm -hmm. like that but they're not creating change they're just kissing ass for money they're catering to a dictator essentially so it's i'm this is the part where i want to be the guy that says if they do this i will if they do this and it's proven that Saudi Arabia did do this to the journalists, mm-hmm. then I'll stop watching WWE. That I will yeah. be completely done with it because that is like that's too much. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like in this day and age, in the age we live in, I, I start to wonder if there's a line anymore. Do, do people even care anymore? I mean, apparently, people like, get away with everything now. Apparently, the majority of the roster and the, like the production crew, like no one wants to go do this show, but they still will. But they're going to because right. the office wants to go. And exactly. also, uh, I think it was. The, it, it, it was probably Meltzer because he's the one that says everything. But like, apparently, the only way this show does not happen is if Trump himself or uh, the Trump himself asks him to not do it, or if the State Department says they can't. Which won't Other, happen. Uh, no, not at all. Even if they, because Trump they... has, because Trump has like couldn't couldn't say that he believes the Saudi government fast enough. Right. Yeah. They. Him and Pompeo uh, definitely. But they, but they don't. It. I don't accept money from them. No. His son-in-law has so many dealings with the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. It, it, this is it's getting political. We're not trying to get political with it. It's just the fact that this is v- money talk. This is yeah. This isn't even a political thing. This is straight up money. This is straight up. They got offered a lot of money to do the show in Saudi Arabia. They don't. They don't give a shit about human rights. They don't give a shit about women's rights. They just want money, mm-hmm. and they're gonna do this unless they are specifically told by the United States government not to do it. They're going to do it, and that's kind of shameful. And the fact that they the the fact that they are like they've stopped saying Saudi Arabia. Like and they 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 know they shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, they know this is not a popular decision. Now they're just trying to squeak it away, like trying to yeah trying to go under the radar and still do it. Uh, there is a rumor, and I know we don't usually talk about these things, but the reason that the, uh, part of the reason that The Rock was not involved in SmackDown 1000 is because of WWE working with the Saudi government, and he doesn't want to be associated with that. So he's probably not going to so be champion be, for Saudi Arabia anytime soon? I mean, I feel like we would probably have heard that by now. I feel like The Rock is the one guy that it doesn't matter how much money you drive up to him because he'll just open his garage to a bigger car with more money. In it. In it. Just, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't need your money. Your chump change. $20 million? Cool. That's what I, that's, that's what I, his. That's my son, signing bonus right. on the new Fast and Furious movie. His right. Car, his car, this, oh, just real quick aside. Have you seen the picture of Idris Elba? No. In the, no. In the spinoff? There, there's some handsome happening. Well, Wait a minute, in the spinoff or what? Fast and the Furious. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. Called. Yeah, it's literally now about Jason Statham and The Rock. And Idris Elba's the bad guy. <gasps> Which is weird because Jason Statham was the. You know what? That's not the no. Show. That's a whole other show, show because I had parts of that. I had I had complaints. I still very much think that that happy go lucky ending of everybody's on the roof, aliens should have happened. That would have been the best way to end that movie. But no. And why not? Exactly. Go for it, you cowards, soy boys. <laughs> What were we talking about? Uh, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Um, Soy Boy Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not funny. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, we had a point. Some, oh, The Rock. No, yeah, his car. Like he, his cars don't run on gasoline. They just run on actual like 20s. stacks of hundred dollars. They bills. run on diamonds. Yeah, it's so. like the suit from Batman and Robin. The Rock's car <laughs> is powered by diamonds. Okay. You don't need to cross a line. 
It's dragon's blood. There's no reason to. He uses dragon's blood to fly around. <laughs> uh, so what should happen to the Crown Jewel show? They have so much money invested into it. Kevin Ash, Kevin Nash was like, it's it's entertainment. It's not the UN Summit. You've made the commitment to do the show, do the show. Do you agree with that? Uh, Yes and no. Like, I mean, not really. Like, you have, you've made this commitment. You said you're going to do it. You've accepted all this money. I don't see how they can back out without having to return all of that, in which case, if that happens, like, a lot of high-ranking people are probably going to get fired yeah. because there's so much, like, stock dependency on this. Like, it'll drop their stock shares. They are losing hundreds of millions of dollars, if not a billion dollars, yeah. to run this show. It's a hard decision. And to run this deal, which, again, they're, like, they are, when they did this deal, it was for multiple shows. This yeah. wasn't going to be, like, you know. I heard it was, like, a 10-year deal. Yeah, it was like 10 shows or something like that. Oh, and well, and to be uh, fair, like I'm assuming that Vince McMahon did not know about this journalist, obviously, because it hadn't happened. Right. So they didn't know this was going to happen. Now, they obviously knew about the, the you know, 50,000 other, yeah. other times. Right. They, they know about the, the what these people do. Go Like, if you watch that uh, last week tonight with John Oliver, it does a really, really great job of kind of explaining what's going on and why a lot of people are outraged and just the Minus long... the homoeroticism joke. Yeah, because, that, again, that was just the lazy... And it was a picture of, like, Nakamura with AJ in a triangle yeah. choke, so... Very homoerotic. Yeah. Dumb. But I, but other than that, yeah, it was a, it's a really good listen, and it's very informative about, like, stuff that's going on over there. So, so we'll, keep it t- uh, we'll keep paying attention. Like, like WWE's official stance, we will continue to monitor the situation. Oh, I'm sure you are. Counting your money yeah. already. Uh, it's sickening. It really is. It's the kind of thing that makes you ashamed. Because it absolutely is something that should not happen, but it's such a hard thing because, like you said, there's so much money involved. How many people are going to lose their jobs if it goes south? Mm-hmm. You know, Vince McMahon's Although, not. Allegedly, there are they are making backup plans in case they can't go. So I don't. They're actually they're taking it over to uh, go back to Australia. Yeah, they they're never, nice. They never did nothing to nobody. Well, I mean, they were kind of founded by criminals, but no, they were put there like they were founded by the British. That's where they put their criminals. That's what I said. <laughs> and, and like some of them were just like because those teeth should be a crime. Jeez. Allie, Dalton, he said it. Uh, Barney. All right. Who else is my name? Kevin Owens. Well, because you're the good one. Kevin Owens. <laughs> it used to be her, so she started <laughs> making fun of British people's teeth. Yeah, you insensitive prick. You got something to say about? A- nope. No, I'm not going to do it. Do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Do it's it. not that show. Kevin Owens has surgery on both knees. Yes. Uh, let me try to find the... I'm going to turn my mic off real quick. <laughs> it's, it's still going to be... <laughs> it's still going to pick up. <laughs> also, I don't think you turned your mic off. I did. Uh-huh. I did. I, turned, turned... I just turned it back on. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Uh, no one heard it. Yeah. So we knew that Kevin Owens had a uh, had a knee issue, and that's what the whole Lashley attack was and right. everything like that. Uh, but he tweeted he tweeted out that uh, they had a two for excuse me they had a two for one sale going at the surgery store <laughs> with a picture of both of his legs like mummified. Oh, he has the gold dust. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know why his legs hurt so bad? Why? Carrying all that weight around, probably. Sami Zayn. The weight of the company Jeez. on his shoulders. Jeez. Chris Jericho. Speaking of like uh, Elias. Um, yeah, I was gonna say what's up with Elias getting squashed by Apollo Cruz on Raw. They finally realized how good Apollo Crews was. He was always good, but he should have been Uha Nation. Did he actually get squashed? Well, I mean, it wasn't a match. Apollo Crews just like beat the crap out of him and tossed oh, him. Yeah, no, like that's going to set up for Elias to then beat the crap out of uh, Crews no, for the not. next like three weeks. I think I think this could be the start of Cruz's like final like they're finally giving him the ball. I mean, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, I even liked his thing. Like, I'm not funny. I'm not. He's just like I don't tell jokes. I'm not. You know, I can't sing. I'm just uh, athletic as fudge. Was, wasn't was Apollo Crews the same guy that, like, threw fruit at him and stuff? Or was that a different no, guy? No, that was Jason Jordan. Yeah. Jason Jordan. Okay. Yep. I could not remember. I couldn't remember. Uh, But no, so yeah, Where'd Kevin Owens. We don't have a timetable on Neck when injury. Kevin Owens is. Uh, yeah, he's still hurt. He's Apparently, he's got nerve damage. Uh, So it's, yeah, he may not come back. Man, that sucks. It, it, which is a super bummer because, like, it wasn't too long ago we were talking about how him and... The Shield? Uh, no, him and someone else were, like, ready to... Him and Ambrose were, like, ready to return. Yeah. Relatively soon. And Ambrose is back, but... Yeah, Jason, Jor- Jason Jordan may not be able to come back, which is, yeah, super unfortunate. Um, Kevin Owens, though, yeah, it looks like he had surgery on both of his knees, and there's still no official timetable of when he'll come back. I know people were initially reporting that he 
made like that the surgery wasn't severe, like it wasn't a major surgery and that he may not miss a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But now that kind of seems less likely if he had surgery on both knees. Injuries suck. So, uh, Sami Zayn was out for what nine? He he was originally out for like what nine to twelve months. And he's still because he had the right? double rotator cuff surgery. Oh yeah, rot- I mean that one. It's like nine to twelve. But okay, yeah. so I know a lot of like I I I've seen like people talk about it when this came out. It's like it would be super cool if they came back as like super babyface team, or if they just came back together. Yeah, yeah. but I but we don't uh, like I said. There's no Ooh, with like new team. robotic parts. Like he got his legs replaced and he got his rotator cuffs replaced, mm-hmm. and now they're half like robot. But then they can form into like they one can, super wrestler. Yeah, yeah. And then Cesaro and Cassius Ono form into their robot, and then those robots fight. Yes, yes, Allie. Yes. Do you catch all that? Yeah, I wrote it down. Which robot? <laughs> That's not what you're doing. <laughs> I wrote it down. I hate you. Okay, who goes into which, who goes into which robot? The two teams go into their own robots. What's the names? The teams. Team one and team two. Team one and team she two. She killed it. She yeah. killed it. Uh, just real quick. I know Clearly you're. I know you're doing attention. that for school. Uh-huh. But I feel like there's a Patreon tier in there, of just like, hey, you want one of the doodles Ally does during the shows? We can't you make. Can, a- you can. You can have them after December seventh. Oh, oh yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not saying now. I'm just saying in, in the future. I'm but I have. Saying, I have a I'm very a- serious question at that though. Like, if they, if you send them one of those, do they then own the rights to that picture? Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> I still own the rights. They can just. They can have it to look at they, it. Yeah, they can okay, put it on the We can't wall. make our entire Patreon about Allie, guys. I mean, none of us, none of the rest of us can do anything cool. Um. I mean, like, Lindsay, we could. Hold on. You Lindsay want, can draw you want to do stuff. custom matches, Shannon? No. Shannon can record an angry promo and send it to you. Yeah, but you can go on YouTube. Oh, yeah, they're clamoring for that one. <laughs> Donate $5 so Shannon fucking yells at you. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, I'm just saying. <laughs> We got to make money somehow. I can edit a video of Allie giving him the finger and cussing at him. <laughs> That's true. That's Allie again, though. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> like, I hate to rain on your parade there, buddy. All right. Well, let's <laughs> talk about something else that's stupid. And that's Are the... you saying I'm stupid? The Austin Aries, Johnny Impact right over scenario now. that's that's happening. That's the joke, Allie. So, if you don't know where this started, this started... Uh, it's been a few weeks ago. Well, a few weeks ago. And it's Austin Aries, who is, from what we can discern, giant asshole. Like, legitimately, he is a giant, puckered asshole. Here's the thing. I'm going to agree with Shannon on this. Giant asshole. Giant asshole. Incredibly talented. So talented. So talented. Ignorantly talented. (laughs) But also gigantic, (laughs) red, chafed asshole. Why? Um, God. (laughs) Now he's taking liberties with what I'm agreeing with. (laughs) So, Austin Aries... Is it prolapsed? It, Stop. <laughs> Fuck. He's got the roids. When I say wrestlers have roids... That, no, no, he's, he put his head down. He put his head down. You want a bear? <laughs> Can I start drawing bear. bears, too? <laughs> <laughs> so, Austin Aries uh, went after Johnny Impact. They actually got really personal with each other it got super personal super quick and here's the whole thing with this like this is either great storytelling up until what happened at bound for glory okay good (laughs) agreed or it's like just really petty bullshit so because austin because austin aries did the thing that i hate love it's the it's the worst thing to do because it all started it really started in earnest when johnny impact made a short joke and then austin aries was like, why is it cool that, you know, I, I, you can't make fun of people's weight, you can't make fun of people's sexual orientation, uh, but it's, it's totally okay to make fun of someone's height, which is a valid point. That's a valid like, point. Like, it's, you know, that's yeah. something that you can't, con- that a person can't control, and, you know, much like a, a sexual orientation or, you know, something like that. But then it just kind of devolved because then he took a shot, uh, about Ty of Valkyrie's, ed- uh, Issue uh, issues with an eating disorder. Yeah, which uh, to me that's where it kind of crosses the line. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, again, uh, if it's a, it's it's tasteless, even if it is agreed upon, even if it's agreed upon, like it's unnecessary. It's the same thing that we always talk about with it's Eddie like Guerrero. The, it's like the, the third week in a row that I've brought up um, Charlotte making fun of Paige's brother. Yeah. But again, like it doesn't need to happen. We're gonna be yeah. Don't worry. I mean, not on that level, but we'll be talking about that during Raw. Um, the Bella's thing yeah. with Rousey. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I, 
it's 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 tasteless and it doesn't need to happen even if you know every all parties involved are cool with it uh it did it kind of made me legitimately more interested in the match which i also want to apologize i completely forgot bound for glory was this past sunday i thought it was this sunday Otherwise, we would have previewed the show because I think Impact has been doing a lot of really, really good steps, and I wanted to give them attention. But then this happens, and there's a possibility that it's all yeah. Everything did you, else did is, you you heard about the abyss that the segment the, right uh, the abyss segment at Bound for Glory or the press conference the press conference where they got into where they yeah. got into the fight where uh, and that again so a lot of people are saying that was a huge um, if if it's not a work mm-hmm. that was a huge slap in the face to abyss and what was his moment they yeah. made it about Johnny Impact and uh, Austin Aries which but, and, and some people said even if it was agreed upon again that it's still wrong place wrong time like this was supposed to be out of abyss why are you doing this now that said but, look but, at look at what did you see the big quote coming from abyss's speech no Ooh, i can find it it's pretty to, just to paraphrase um it's essentially like when you've worked so hard to make it to the mountaintop instead of raising your arms in victory before you do that reach behind you and help pull the next person up that kind of mentality that abyss has plays pretty perfectly in okay, I will do what I can to then put a spotlight on these two younger guys right? and push for the actual, you know, the main event of the show where, you know, someone's actually going to be wrestling. Younger but do guys. you think it was necessary? No. Like, I, mean, I don't think it was necessary either because I don't think it sold a ton more matches, but it did generate more interest and the buzz was pretty big going into it. But was it the buzz for the right reason? I thought the press conference was great. It's the it's the whole it's the whole you know there's no such thing as bad press, which is not true by the way. Turns out there is such a thing as bad <laughs> press. Uh, but yeah, the, the abyss thing I thought was really cool, and it, 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 re- it reminded me of like whenever you would see Tyson and he would do this weigh in, or even McGregor, you mm-hmm. know, uh, UFC modernize it, modernize it. But you you would see Tyson do his weigh in, and they would they would jaw at each other, and then they. There, you know, every once in a while there would be like a fight, and, and when there, there would a be fight, a shove, and then yeah. every, all the teams come pouring out and separate. and you would feel like, okay, that that really, man, they must really hate each other. Mm-hmm. So I think this did a good job of doing that. If it had been just that, and then the match happened as normal, I don't think it would have been such a problem. But then the match happened, yeah. And tell us what happened at the end of the match. Well, so during the match, there were a lot of really kind of awkward moments between the two, with like seemingly, oh no, they're going. Like this, this is like, we're not, they're not selling stuff. They are getting shots in kind of awkwardness. Uh, but then the end of the match sees uh, Johnny Impact hitting Starship Pain on Austin Aries, pinning him one, two, three before Impact gets to his knees to like hold on to the championship. Austin Aries does like a little mini kip up, starts John at Don Callis at ringside uh, and then just walks off double birds to the fans just like. Fuck this. Yeah. Uh, Impact is show is shown like being like what what is this going on? Um, so you know Aries completely no sells the finish of the match. No, no sells being in a match at all and just walks off. Uh, and so it's the here's the it's whether this is a this is real or it's fake. It's a worker shoot. Whatever. A terrible decision was made by somebody. This is either Austin Aries being totally just a douchebag. Yeah. Like a ch- completely an absolute, unprofessional. An absolute child. Right. Or they're doing this work shoot thing, which is a bad idea. It's a bad idea, especially in this context of your main match, of your main event championship match. Yeah. This reeks of old TNA. And I like Or WCW. On the, on the yeah. Before it died. On, like Russo. Right. I I don't want to. Th- I want to give Aries the benefit of the doubt because I know he's had like a pre. He's got a notorious reputation about being kind of di- about being difficult to work with, but not to this extent. But and and so I really would like to think that it's not this. It's not that. But at the same time, like man, Impact was doing such cool stuff. They don't need this. But that said, we're talking about it now instead of just going over match for match for Bound for Glory. Right. We are dedicating a news story to it. And I truly believe that in the long run, no one will care, and it will just fade away into nothing, mm-hmm. and it'll just be something people mention. But man, this is the dumbest decision. This is here's the problem with this. So if you've got, if you're telling us that this is real, or even if you if you assume we know that wrestling's a work. Mm-hmm. And you have two guys go at each other hatefully like this. They have their match, and then one guy just gets up, shows that there was no damage, mm-hmm. and walks away. Where do you go from there? You can't 
put them in a feud why? to go to another match because you obviously told me that it doesn't matter. That's not real. Why should I invest in? Why seeing, should I invest in it? Like in seeing Austin Aries, it's a terrible idea, and that's what I hate. Whenever they like a worked shoot is fine for me. Anytime they bring real realism into promos and stuff, mm-hmm. promos especially. Imagine if Daniel Bryan and The Miz had their match after that great Talking Smack segment, and Bryan lost, and then Bryan just got up and walked out. Because and they were trying to sell the match. Like, mm. It's stupid. It's absolutely. And I know the business is already exposed, but this exposes it to a level of why should I care? Yeah, it's it's embarrassing. Dalton, what do you think? Yeah, it wasn't a good choice either way, in my opinion. <laughs> He's right because why would like, you say, say something so? Excitedly. Why would you say something so well, controversial? Like, it's so brave because <laughs> it's one of those things. Like, what is this proving? Because I was talking to hell. I think it was Brandon, uh, and Brandon kind of dug it. But it's one of those that he completely devalued wrestling. Star- well, I mean, yeah, that. But Starship Pain. So if it's if this is leading up to a match in four or five months where Johnny Impact hits him with the Starship Pain and he stays down for it, that time it hurt though. Yeah, yeah. Because he like also says that every time he used it before was pointless. We, yeah, because yeah. it's one of those that, like, with everybody knowing, like, what wrestling is, th- the no-sell makes no sense. Yeah. And then if this is a storyline angle, he just needs to hit him with, a, like, a fucking light pipe. Like, at that point. Something right. that would It needs to be a shoot fight. The, the thing that would, and I'm using quotes, put him down. Yeah. Like, Again. I just, we we go back to uh, I can't even think about what you do past this well, if this is a work. It's like so, it's we said it's like Star Wars. Imagine in, in the first Star Wars if Obi Wan after Darth Vader cuts him down, Obi Wan just got back up and, and started going off script and talking about how he Alec Guinness deserves better than what they're giving him or something like that. They wouldn't put that in the movie because you have to suspend your belief when you're watching stuff like this. We it's just baffling this decision. It's baffling. Yeah, it's and, insulting, and especially and like and another thing too is it's like Killer Cross and Moose, their storylines are tied up in Austin Aries because they've joined up with him. So where does this go? Um, there are a bunch of different reports out about what um, uh, uh, about where this is going. Uh, I've seen that Austin Aries they had stuff written for Austin Aries for tonight's tapings that are no longer happening. He's he apparently can, done. That he is home now. Yeah. I've also seen that he was never supposed to be there tonight and that he's doing a loose cannon story now. Which is fine, but don't... But the, the, but the way that they're starting this is... So the way you would have done it, if you wanted to do a loose cannon gimmick, mm-hmm. is like look at the way Brian Pillman did it in WCW before they let him go to ECW, which was a storyline. Was Eric Bischoff's plan to send him down to ECW to get him some seasoning to give him the big rub, mm-hmm. and then he would come back eventually, which he never did. Mm-hmm. But that's whatever. Uh, when Hogan and Jeff Jarrett did their thing, where Jarrett laid down, and Vince Russo said, "Take your belt and go home." Mm-hmm. You know, that's the Hulk Hogan Memorial Belt now, and we're going to crown a new champion. The big rumor was that, or the story was that, that was all planned, and it wasn't until depending Vince, on who you ask, depending on who you ask, and it wasn't until Vince Russo went off on Hogan that Hogan decided that was a that was not what they agreed to, and he sued them. Mm-hmm. But the point is, is like that still worked better than what they're doing here because that, even though that was a, a exposing the business thing, it's not like Hogan beat Jared up, hit the leg drop, and then Jared got up and walked off. Jared just laid down for him and said, yeah. "Just pin me there and take him out." It would be like if CM Punk cut the pipe bomb promo and then in their match. Even if he won the match, if Cena just got up and left. Right. Or if, you know, if Cena won and then Punk just got up and left. I truly believe that in wrestling you have to have you have to have acting and you have to have storylines that are coherent. And I don't know, it's one of those things like thinking about it, you can you can have a shoot promo. And if you're Antonio Noki, you can have a shoot match. Because he does Because the great Antonio he, was just a big, fat idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and got what he deserved. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I don't think you can... I don't think you can do what he did and it still, like, makes sense. So if somebody planned that, they're, they are either the greatest mind in wrestling history or a complete moron. There's a thin line between <laughs> fries and cheese. Genius, genius and idiots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, but, but, like, it's one of those that... I 
And it goes back to what I was saying with earlier. It's like he's going to have to hit him with a lead pipe if he wants to beat him next time. Because Austin Aries already showed that, oh, well, it only held me down for three. It's perfectly fine after that three count. Austin Aries is okay. Nah, yeah, yeah the best way they could spin it was that it didn't hurt. But then why did you let him beat you? Yeah, because it's one of those things like you can't even logically explain that. You can't. You like, can't. did he have mm-hmm. a seizure of strength, right? Was it the one time the comeback happened after the match? Yeah. Like, uh, it, there's no way to spin this. There's no way to spin this. It had to be that Austin Aries is an asshole and now he's gone. Jason. But, but I don't believe that's true. Tell I, me how I, this yeah, would but work. That, but that may, yeah, but this that may not be what it is. a complete angle, and this is one of the dumbest angles I've ever seen. Yeah. Which, I, I mean, that said, though, I'm, cur- I'm not interested, but I'm curious to see how they spin it. Because even – because uh, so, given – if you want to give Impact the benefit of the doubt, okay, um – do they just that never happened? Johnny Impact's our champion now. Here's what's next. Do you try to acknowledge that? Okay, well, we just lost the guy who's been champion for the last like ten months that he's been here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it I it puts kind of everybody, regardless of whose decision this was or who you know it did what, it puts everyone else in an awkward spot. But this, boy, if Austin Aries is for real done and that's how he decided to leave. I look forward to him coming back in two years. Yeah. This, this, that, well, no, because, and I mean that legitimately because apparently there is internal talks about bringing Del Rio back into Impact. Uh, yeah, they feel like his, his name outweighs the, the risk. This is why I hate. We did an angle, and this is Pro Wrestling Unscripted, so this is off the cuff. We did an angle with Justin Smart, and we did a backstage segment with him where he held up the script that we had written for what to do, and he's reading off the script what he's supposed to say and all that, and then he throws it away. I hated it. I hated it because like you can't expose that much. Once you ad- once you acknowledge that wrestling is fake, then there can never be there can never be wins and losses. There can never be prizes. There can never be drama. Mm-hmm. Like there is no storytelling once you acknowledge the fact that it's a story. And I, I know wrestling's fake. I know it's work, but like there's a level that you can go to and that's going over the level. Justin went over the level a little bit and made it awkward. Austin Aries just made it uncomfortable. Austin Aries just made it embarrassing is what it was. Or to be fair, or someone impact. told Austin yeah, or impact Aries to be embarrassing. Yeah. It's a shitty situation and we'll see what happens, but we got to move on. Mm-hmm. But just for the record, shitty situation. Let's talk about Raw. Let's let's just go right to the another really shitty embarrassing thing, which was the Ronda Rousey promo against Nikki Bella. Really? Yeah. I hated it. Also really? hated it. Yeah. Hated it because they had to go back to the same old stereotype of you only got where you are because you slept around. Yeah. Jesus. So you're th- They've used it I mean they've used it before, but they did for me they did it in a way that uh, they fra- I've, they've started. They've moved this feud on from just the Bellas turned because we needed a match to now. It feels like it's a it's the women's division versus the divas division. Like, which I that, got that's more, fine by me. Which puts which immediately makes the match way more interesting. To yeah, me, and the build of the match way more interesting. Yeah, they use old like she used the whole like hokey. Okay, so here's the thing, thing Asa, that we've done before. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the dumb question that I know what your answer is already. But her saying the only door you knocked down was John Cena's bedroom. Does that change anything for you? Did th- that does that change the dynamic mean? of like because it's like all right, it's divas versus women's division. Mm-hmm. Did that line help or hurt that, for or me, was it neutral? For me, neither. I, like, I say I it. it to be super insulting. Just because, because, just because I didn't think it doesn't mean that like again, like people are going to have other opinions on it. I don't. Yeah, but I wanted to know. I I was asking your opinion on no, it. No, yeah, and just, I told you. Like, like, it, I didn't, like it didn't help sell tickets. Just because, just because it did not. Just because that line from the promo and that interaction didn't make me more or less excited to see the match. Doesn't necessarily mean that like they don't need to be catering every line to like me specifically. It's just like okay, that didn't work. Well, yeah, I but dug. It's... I dug the general like the overall thing. But, but I I just think it's insulting that they had to go to the level of you're a whore. You're a slut. You're only doing this because you slept around. You you had sex with John Cena. Especially because like whether you like Nikki Bella or not, and I know a lot of people don't, like you cannot deny that she has worked hard to be where she is. She didn't just get up there because she screwed John Cena. I'm sure lots of girls screwed John Cena and they're not in the position that they that that she is in. Uh and, and it's I think it was Dave was it Dave Lagana? Or no, it, it was a former writer mm-hmm. who posted uh, today. He said, "You know, congratulations that the women's division has come to such a level now that it's in the main event and that everyone's talking about it." But yet they're still calling each other skanks. But at the same time, I'm mm-hmm. sad to see that it's still the same old trope of you, you, you had sex, and that's the only reason you're here. Mm-hmm. Um, now, as we often do when it comes to women's issues here on the show, I'm going to address this to the female prosecutor. 
<laughs> uh, Ali A. Bear. And from this point on, she's going to be asked to be just called uh, prosecutor. Just, con- just yeah. prosecutor. Yes, Ali, what do, you, what do you think about this? Is it just a line or, it, or should we be past the point of look who you're having sex no, with? It's disappointing um, because that is very demeaning. But to be fair, there's still a lot of tropes that are used on the men's side of wrestling that is that is also bad. Yeah, Kevin Owens. Shannon. Like what? I'm curious. Name one. He, I he just did. did. <laughs> I wasn't addressing you. I was addressing her. I mean, I'm, and this isn't me trying to antagonize you. Like I seriously want to know what tropes you see that you have a problem with. Because as a man, maybe I miss them. There's just easy ones that they go like for. weight or yeah. um, um sexual orientation yeah that kind of stuff okay and because this is also in a way an easy one people have been using that joke against women their entire lives people women they have used it used, against triple h to be fair women have used it against each other their entire lives too like this has been something that is old and in many ways, it needs to be say like it needs it needs to be getting rid of like it shouldn't have been used, but it's also you can't talk about this without talking about how weight and sexual orientation is used on the men's side of things too so I was thinking uh because like this was before you were watching it was mm-hmm. like maybe wrestlemania thirty four years ago in that ballpark. Where, Did you say 30 or 40 years ago? No. 30, WrestleMania 30. 30 so oh, 34 40. years ago. <laughs> My bad. So um, AJ Lee, which I know you've heard us talk about her mm-hmm. before, she was like, she would be killing it right now if she was still wrestling in WWE. Uh, but she had a thing with uh, like all of the people on Total Divas when, whenever that show was brand new. Yeah. And honestly, the women's division, it was still the butterfly belt. Nobody cared about it. AJ yeah. Lee held it for the longest time up until that point. And was not really getting the recognition she deserved. It was very CM Punk. And this is my whole thing of certain people can get away with using those lines and it working. Ronda Rousey's not that person because Ronda Rousey is like super pro what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, so AJ Lee, like the, all of the people were uh, like from Total Bells was in the ring and AJ Lee said something. She's like, well, you guys are going to learn that wrestling talent isn't sexually transmitted. That worked way more because nobody it, cared. It came- so it. It also came from a character that probably seemed more believable as having to climb to the top when Ronda Rousey just got there and was put in the main event. First match, WrestleMania. What I, what I hate is that these lines are written by men for the women. Like, it's almost... I mean, so is healthcare. Damn! Damn. Wow. Mic drop. And she won. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't change the fact that it's like it's like whenever you see a black character written by white people... And that's how they assume black people would talk to each other, and it's kind of embarrassing. Mark Wade, is that true? Uh, uh, is that it, Miles it was. It, it, it's less black and more old person writing for a young person. Gotcha. And Mark Wade's, you know, not he's not an old yeah, person yeah. at all, but right. like the youth you, of today, using things like it's lit and fam. I could. Stuff I was, couldn't write for a fifteen year old right was, now either. It was rough. I could Fortnite, Fortnite, but, Fortnite, <laughs> Floss, Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, why is that not a song on the internet? I will say just real quick, like I, whether or not you like the material she was given, this was hands down the best Ronda's done on the microphone. Yeah, I, I heard she killed it. I didn't get to watch the segment other than that part, mm-hmm. but I heard she killed it. I heard she, it was very and, believable. Again, we, we're picking out one line from right. an entire segment now, and a promo exchange. I also heard Nikki Bella did a good job on the mic, but I did not get to and see Nikki her part. Nikki Bella's never done horrible on the yeah, mic. This I is, mean, all right, in fairness, hasn't in a while done horrible on the mic. Yeah. No, she's, I mean, she's been a consistently decent promo for a while now. Yeah, but, so like, it's less, no, it's less surprising the, that like this was you know a believable exchange between two people when Ronda has, up to this point, been historically shaky. Right. If you listen to the IWC, though, Nikki Bella is the worst ever. Both Bellas well, yeah. are worthless. Well, no, after the last month, Brie is the worst ever. I think it's still a contest. <laughs> Nikki Bella, by existing, insults the IWC. And by the way, do you know what the IWC is, Allie? No. Internet wrestling community, and they are mm. the worst. Except the ones that listen to, to this us. show. They are the best. Hey, Internet. What else happened on Raw? Let's go over it. Uh, Apollo Crews, we mentioned earlier, kind of mm. smacked around Elias a little bit. More uh, teasing of the Shield 
of what they're gonna what they're gonna we, do. We got. Uh, I did like the ending. We got yet another. Before we get to that, because that's an actual talking point. Right. Um. We got yet another Finn Balor Jinder Mahal match. Well, it's because it's hot because and fresh, it's, baby. Because it's the mixed match challenge. They have nothing left to do. But then it ended with Lashley like flexing in Balor's face. So, yes, please. Yeah. Start that feud. Give me that feud. Yes. Uh, but look down, Bobby, and look at all the muscles that he has. He, he has just so had... many muscles, but he's smaller. Yeah, Finn's got that like small and cut, whereas mm-hmm. Bobby is a battle toad. Chiseled from marble. Yes. Um, toad marble. There was one. Other, uh, there was toad something else from Raw that I wanted to talk about before. Maybe there wasn't. Al, you okay? Yeah. Okay. She literally <laughs> woke up, by I, the way. I was we thinking, needed video for that. Her eyes opened up and everything. No, I was thinking about how... Her eyes opened up and everything. <laughs> like she's a newborn kitten. Yeah. Well, whenever no. people talk about marble sculptures, most of the ones they're talking about were originally bronze that the Romans then melted down and recreated with marble. Well, that's kind of dumb. What well, you just like? You, I'll be glad when your damn college is over. No, no, no I want to talk about this for a second. <laughs> Why would you melt it down first? Wouldn't you well, want to keep the they, reference there? They recreated it in marble, but the Romans melted it down to use the bronze. Okay, because the way you said it said they melted it down first, and I was like, that makes no sense. Boy, she gets so loud when talking about art. I had to, t- I had to turn it down a little <laughs> she bit. She cares about art. Allie, <laughs> can you name a wrestling reference where someone melted something down and then used it? Pepper. Jesus. No, I was going for Kama Mustafa when he melted the Undertaker's urn oh. and turned it into the necklace. Well, I was just saying because like with like meat, you, you might God. Boil it. What? It was a puppy. They cooked his dog <laughs> and then served it to him. That happened in that happened with Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> it's always sunny. Well, of course she- Dennis would like eating Dennis. <laughs> it's the mac and cheese. His Max Famous mac and cheese. All right. What the hell's going on? Asa, hey, so what else about Raw? Uh, Please save this segment. <laughs> I got, I don't, Didn't I'm not seeing Drew it. do something cool? Well, yeah, that's the end. That's uh, the end. Yeah. Which, I mean, and that even, even that wasn't like. Oh, the, okay. The, the, it was uh, Kurt Angle and Corbin. Yes. Uh, Kurt Angle's just fun right now. And the AOP. Like, the AOP with um, Drake Maverick realizing, like, he's like, wait a minute. This Take off the mask. Door. Take off the mask. Is it Kurt Angle? And it's not Kurt Angle. Baron Corbin's real confused. And then Angle shows up in vacation clothes and just Angle slams him like right on the stage. Yeah. Dude, that was rough. And so. then dances. <laughs> and deletes the you suck chant. I love just fun dad Kurt Angle. Yeah. Again. Like, yeah. I'm I'm sad that we. vacation I'm, I'm sad that we're still not getting like wrestling machine, like the wrestling machine fucking cutthroat Kurt Angle. But you forget how funny Kurt Angle is. And he, he's yeah, super and he's so, funny. And he's so great. And I get that realistically this is the best we're going to get. Yeah. But he's doing it so well. Yeah, so I, yeah. just, I just wanted to he's mention lit. that. I, I, I enjoyed that segment. I know I said it last week, but the backstage segment where he was just like, actually, I'm on vacation. Just like, oh, I love you. And then turns out he was. You could tell by his clothing. Yeah. He literally just came from the beach. I can't wait to get that elite. <laughs> With removable oh, and then, conquistador uh, outfit. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> they would never do that, but yes. It's called the killing joke, Kurt Angle, because he's got the... We also got the... Um, vacation outfit. We got the segment about... Uh, excuse me. We got the segment between Alexa Bliss and Mickey James and Trish Stratus and Lita. That was fine. I didn't get to see that yet. I hope it was better than last week. Uh, and then we also had the Natalia versus Ruby Riot where they re-debuted Sasha Banks and no one cared. That was heartbreaking. Was she see. gone? Yeah, she was injured. She had that shoulder injury. I feel terrible. I didn't know. That's why I the didn't whole know. that's why the whole Bailey Sasha tag team thing dropped off. I didn't know. I thought they were still doing like segments. Because she or got something. pulled. She got. She was replaced in the mixed match challenge. Wow, that is sad. So yeah, and they brought back. So it's Natalia, Bailey, and Sasha feuding with the Riot Squad now. That'll probably that might be an evolution match. God, I feel bad for the Riot Squad. They are just insert into feud X mm-hmm. for whoever because they were just feuding with. Ember oh, we'll Moon. get to that on SmackDown. Don't worry. Well, let's um, go. But but let's yeah. talk about Raw well, and being a Raw. And then we got the uh, Braun Strowman uh, threatened to tear apart McIntyre and Ziggler if they didn't do what he said. Shield beat uh, the Dogs of War, and then Strowman slams Ziggler. And How many then McIntyre. Did they have that night? Because I saw Seth Roll- Ziggler beat. Nope. Ambrose. Nope. Did they Roll- on it? Rollins beat Ziggler. For, and that was for that was for a place in the best in the world WWE World Cup 
okay, qualifier. Who beat, beat Ambrose? No one beat Ambrose today on Monday. Are you sure? Because I saw a video of Ambrose was getting uh, – Rollins was helping Ambrose up. Ambrose pushed him off, jumped in the ring, got super kicked, and then Ziggler pinned him. Super kicked Rollins. No, super kicked Ambrose. Rollins was helping him up. I, I think th- I think you just got him mixed up. I think that was from last week. I think that's when – I think that's Allie when – help. I don't know. Because the war, the Dogs of War beat the Shield last week, and it was something like that. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure Ambrose didn't wrestle last night other than the Shield. Did you watch the wrong video this I'm look- week? No, 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 because it was it was the Raw Top 10. Cause so unless they got it messed up. Because Ziggler- Or you watched last week. Because Ambrose- was- Shut up. You because shut your face. Ambrose did shove Rollins- a couple times this week like there was they they were continuing that story even though the team that seemingly has broken up is world cup to determine the best of the world qualifying match Dolph Ziggler defeated Dean Ambrose via pin I thought that was, I thought it was Rollins Seth Rollins defeated Drew McIntyre oh that's okay that's what it is that's my fault I just want to make sure I'm not crazy man. no that's fine I again I am fine with being wrong because I just when I saw the top 10 video it literally had like those singles matches yeah but then it was also the, the, the shield the shield and I thought yeah. Oh my God, how many times did they wrestle? I thought that was last week. They, well, they've been doing all of these mix and match and matches with each other for yeah. like the last four weeks, so right. it's, it's all running together. So that's my you fault. Ain't, you ain't lying. I apologize You ain't for lying, that. though. Um, but, yeah, but at so, least something did happen at the end. Uh, yeah, so then uh, McIntyre laid out Strowman with a Claymore kick. Which was awesome. Mm-hmm. Like when I saw the video of it, because he grabbed uh, Ziggler and said, I warned you if you failed, you are going to get these hands, mm-hmm. which makes him a face in this, I guess. I don't know. He's. I think it just makes him an element of destruction. He's and then like Ma- super heel. He's just Galactus at this point. He doesn't consume planets. He just throws hands. And then McIntyre hit him with the uh, Claymore, which looked great. Yeah. And McIntyre looked like a million dollars on that. So yeah. I thought that was very cool. Let's move on to SmackDown. SmackDown 1000. I liked it. I didn't get to see it. It f- did not feel special at all. But Vince was there. Yeah, and he did the dance. Doing with the dance off. The whole the dance no break. One, no one likes to see my kids. No one wants to see my kids argue. Shut up. Up, old man, <laughs> you know that you don't get to make that joke after giving us months and months of your kids arguing. Yeah, uh, but then dance break. Our truth is a treasure. I'll give you that. And Mela is money. Um, say it. The F A B U L O E. The evolution. Apparently, the evolution thing went too long. Uh, which this is hilarious. People are saying that evolution went too long, and it's why there was no. Uh, there was supposed to be an Ellsworth segment that got cut. Yeah, he was just in a backstage video. Apparently, that's why The Undertaker came out early when he did and only said one line. Which was pointless. Uh, and so it's like, I don't think that segment went that long. If so, if it did go that much over, how long was it supposed to be? Um, yeah, Undertaker got booed for saying Crown Jewel. So that- my favorite part about that is I read a thing online where somebody was talking about that. I said, yeah, The Undertaker got booed for the first time in years when he did this. And someone in one of the inter- the IWC corrects mm-hmm. was like, oh, no, actually, he got booed a couple years ago when he was feuding with uh, this person. And the person replied, so he got booed this the for first the time first- he got booed the first time in years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Evolution segment, for like, I enjoyed it more than I thought it would. It was uh, fun. Yeah. I, it was I, probably the best thing on the show, I thought. Like, segment wise yeah for, for the nostalgia yeah the nostalgia. i'll give you that um because they did have like a bunch of the old gms come in and talk to Paige, and which was, that was fun that was fine big johnny uh the whole like he's done every like batista's speech was great like i love oh batista god so he much. told rick flair to keep it in his, in his pants. pants that was great the whole like i was like done... his daughter's backstage that's funny oh, oh his Ed, daughter you, knows oh you, yeah you've done you've done everything in this business except beat me that moment was super cool. Did you? Someone on Reddit pointed out the uh, the video of Orton like going for the RKO. Did you see that? It's so it's as they're hugging. Orton's in the background and he kind of drops his shoulders and does like the the RKO the move, but he just does it for a second and then like stands up and is just like that was funny because yeah, Orton got to care for once. Yeah, that's, that's a weird segment to put them in considering Triple H is a good guy. He's a good guy, Stephanie. Orton's a bad guy. Yeah, but they completely dis like they didn't follow up with any of that story of like Orton being a psycho killer. Yeah, well, not uh, tonight. Tonight yeah. he was a part of Evolution. So that was never on Raw or SmackDown. That was never on SmackDown. Uh, what? What? They were, yeah, they were literally never on SmackDown. Well, name as one group that was on SmackDown. Sanity. Straight Edge Society. <laughs> you're yeah, not getting yeah, good yeah, luck you're with getting that one. Um, Edgeheads. Zach La Ryder, Familia. Zach Ryder will remind you of that. 
uh, Edge was the, uh, cutting edge. I like that. I like the uh, him and Becky. He's got his hair back. The one, th- the one thing that I did is like you're going to end up in a home alone. It's like mother. I listen to your podcast. You have a beautiful daughter and wife. You have a wonderful family and a beautiful home. Like kayfabe, you're- kayfabe. <laughs> so, so I was watching. Barbar was at Jason's house whenever we were watching it, mm-hmm. and um, whenever it was just like, I don't know if it was Edge or. Charlotte said, "Are you are you really like where you're at right now?" And Brandy's, "You goddamn right, I do." <laughs> Just like that is a good point. Well, Becky's like, "Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like who I see in the mirror. I love it." <laughs> <laughs> Still got cheered. Yeah, oh yeah. Because well, they cannot luck. boo Becky Lynch. No, as you shouldn't. No, ever. She, she kicks should... last. She does. She's the last kicker. Last I gave that shirt to Sadie because I've realized I should just never ever yeah, wear it out a again. A guy wearing a shirt that says "last kicker." You yeah. wouldn't be the first buddy that I've seen do that. <laughs> but you've also seen me do that. Yeah, I've seen you wear lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Just a oh black God. shirt tonight, Shannon. Yeah. Uh, the biggest it says uh, Beta Cuck on the front. Jesus. The biggest thing from SmackDown though was no. Okay, I take that back. We we did get uh, there was the final. I think it's the final. Uh, I think we have all eight people for the crown jewel thing. Um, the best in the world World Cup. Yeah. Uh, where Rey Mysterio debut, re-debuted. Looked it was amazing. such a good match. Not surprising at all. Rey Mysterio's been killing it for a, more than a year now. Yeah, just for about like two really, years really, now, really, really solid. Uh, so he, it was good to see him back. Yeah. Uh, he beat Nakamura. It was And then so we got fun. a tag team championship match between The Bar and The New Day. That made we, no we, sense. The tag team match made sense. Like, I get why they're doing that. But the thing that makes no sense is Big Show coming out, well. helping Kofi to his feet, chasing off, like, during the match. This is still happening. The referee is watching all of this. Helps Kofi up, chokes, then just choke slams him through the announce table the, in plain sight of the referee. So it doesn't count as outside interference if it happens outside the ring, apparently. Because then Sheamus uses the distraction to catch Big E with a... Uh, Bro kick. Now was and they win Kofi, the champion, and then they win the tag team championship. Was Kofi just there, and Xavier was wrestling with Big E, or Kofi was in the match? I thought it was Big E and Kofi wrestling. Because I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I will say, even if that's true, I can counter that with two words: ironclad. Iron clad. Big Show can do what he wants. Am remember? I wrong? This is another example of they've been wrestling each other forever. That, uh, maybe I am forgetting, and that would make more sense. But I thought Kofi was already like. Kofi wasn't dressed a New Day versus Bar. I'm gonna find this out. So uh, yeah, while doing... he's doing that, I will say that it was a cool throwback to have Big Show turn again. That is definitely a nostalgia. A lot of the, this happened. The go to, the go to joke has been uh, Big Show's 1,000th turn on the 1,000th <laughs> episode of SmackDown. That's pretty awesome. So, but yeah, so that's got to apparent, and then he hugs Sheamus and Cesaro. So I'm assuming for Crown Jewel, it's going to be the uh, six man tag, where it's. Uh, and I'm fine with that. I actually, I mean, Big Show looks great. He's oh yeah, he's put his work in, in phenomenal shape. I'm not going to. Com- I'm not complaining that it's Big Show. I'm just if was he a good guy or a bad guy when he left? Oh damn, it was. Yeah, Kofi was the outside man. Yeah. It was it was Xavier Woods and Biggie. So at least that makes a little okay. bit more sense. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. I don't know why I thought that it was stupid Freebird rule, stupid New Day rule. <laughs> this man praises the New I also, Day. What about sh- what about the special table that the New Day had? Oh, the pancake table. The pancake table. That's what he put him through. It wasn't the announce table? Good. Put him through the pancake table. Good. Pancakes. You make some waffles. You come talk to me. I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about that Huddle House dinner for like. Since we had it, yeah, you have that strawberry, like the waffle with the strawberries. Hey, you on were it. there oh, briefly at the end. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about. Bro- oh, it wasn't the end for me. It was only the beginning. <laughs> How long were you there? Oh, like an hour. But it's because I was really, really holding off, like having to go to the doctor after. Yeah. Coward. Let's talk about Brown for Brown for Glory. <laughs> it's fine. Did I you said, eat Huddle House it's before? Fine. I said shard on the on commentary. It's so Herbie <laughs> Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hates you now. You mistaked him for me. No. Mistaked. Yes. No. I just, whenever someone makes mistaked. a mistake, I assume it was you that did it. Mm, he called you me. Yeah, Again. But you said mistake. You were losing the, no, I said. Mi- no, he did. Oh. No, he did. Bound for glory. Bound for You're glory. Me. Rich, Sw- Rich Swan and Willie Mack beat uh, Matt Seidel and Ethan Page uh, in a tag match. Super uh, high pa- fast-paced 
High flying. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, James Ellsworth got booed to oblivion uh, in Eli Drake's open challenge type deal. Uh, the crowd very much wanted Jericho, which was on. It's their own fault for expecting Jericho. Right. Uh, so he. Uh, Did he get the Rey Mysterio treatment when he came out at number 30? Yeah. Uh, except worse. Uh, Drake beat James Ellsworth and then uh, got beat up by Abyss in the feel good moment. That was cool. Uh, Tessa Blanchard retained her knockouts championship against Taya Valkyrie. Uh, Eddie Edwards and Moose like went like a minute and then it ended in disqualification. So then it turned into Eddie Edwards and Tommy Dreamer versus Moose and Killer Cross uh, in a no DQ tag. Every match. time he says that, I I hear Killer Croc. I'm not the <laughs> only one, right? Uh, uh, probably my favorite match from the night uh, is OVE. Dave Chris, Jake Chris, and Sammy Callahan uh, beat Brian Cage, Phoenix, and Pentagon Jr. In a uh, OVE rules match, so a hardcore championship match, uh, in a match that I want to watch Dalton watch, it was a concrete d- jungle death match. Uh. Uh, LAX Santana Ortiz and Conan. Mm. Beat, no, I saw the big moment. Beat uh, the OGs Hernandez Homicide and uh, King. What's the big moment? I need so. To know. Well, just so you know, this entire match took place with the padding removed from the ring. Oh, so, is this the power bomb you you mentioned? Mm-hmm. It was just the boards. What do you want my opinion on? No, tell me what happened first. So, uh, Hernandez, and then it was the, and then that was the last match, other than the main event, which we've already covered. Right. Except there was just real quick because yeah, we're not going to talk about it. Uh, Ali went into the Nether Realm or the Dark Realm or whatever. She let it got let in by James Mitchell, so she could go save uh, Kira Hogan from vampires. And then Rosemary was there and did a psychic battle with Sue Young. Yeah. That was a thing. And then the main event happened with Austin Aries well, walking off after Starship. Doing Starship padding for a ring takes a minute. BT dubs. I mean, yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that it's the placement was wrong. I'm just pointing out that the whole, like, wrestling is fake and eventually you're pulling too much back with the Austin Aries thing. It was immediately preceded by this. So, Dalton, power Who bomb. the fuck cares <laughs> about a power bomb on boards when you're going to the nether realm to fight vampires? I do, because one actually hurts... The oh, vampires? I'm telling Sue so Young. I'm done. I'm... Oh, he okay. did turn it off, so at least we got that That's moment. Oh, fuck this. Dalton, do your thing. So, if you want to be on the show, be on the microphone. Otherwise, respect the recording space. Yeah. Fuck you carrot. <laughs> Friggin' jugger duck. <laughs> he called you a jugger duck. Stupid is what it no, is. I was, so, yeah, no, so... His uh, microphone wasn't on. He didn't hear me. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, what did he say? Hernandez was facing the crowd on the on the corner, like up on top. Uh, LAX comes up and gives him a double super power bomb onto boards. By the way, those boards aren't screwed in. No, yeah, they're just yeah, moving. Yeah. Board, the boards on a wrestling ring aren't screwed in because then that would be really unsafe because they're supposed to flex a little bit. Yeah. So when he hits all like what? This is Hernandez, like 310? Probably. Probably. Between 270 and 310. You see boards just fucking bounce. So, so... Like my whole because they don't make this shit dangerous enough. <laughs> I saw that and I'm just like, why? What does that get across besides the fact of, well, you are just an insane person? To be fair, you weren't bored of the segment. Cool. Yep. Neat. Mm-hmm. That's the show. I'm really happy you it. you interrupted me for that. <laughs> you hey, were so, done. Hey, so hit us with the links. You're mostly done. Hey, She's we, looking at Wish. We face, gotta stop no, her before I'm she does not. something stupid. Don't buy crack pipes. I'm not looking at Don't Wish. buy crack pipes. Are there dildos on there? <laughs> <laughs> dildo crack pipes. Wait a minute. Is it... I don't know how dildo to... Dildo wielding? Is it dildos or like... Dildo? Dildai? <laughs> <laughs> also, how do you spell dildos? D-I-L-D-O-S. There might be an apostrophe. That? That's pretty easy. Well, like, because like... No, it's, it's only if the dildos own it. <laughs> Also, the, does it look like Dill does? Like Facebook.com slash Podzilla1985. Quality work. We d- we earned it. We have deserved this. <laughs> yeah. Listen this to is the, our dream. Like it. <laughs> uh, normally, we would we would pimp the Patreon in our new tier, which is hilarious. But instead, um, you did just start Brandon Barbwire's GoFundMe. I did. Um, we so, saw Brandon on Sunday at Target. 
And uh, I told him I was going to do it, and then I didn't know how, so I asked Jesse, and then Jesse literally slapped me and said, it's super easy, just do it. Just go to the website. So and then I did it, through it, and now it's up. Um, so yeah, go to, um, it's on all of our pages, I think. Um, we will post it to the Podzilla page as well. Absolutely. Uh, if we haven't already. Um, it's on the CCW Facebook page. It's on Brandon's page. Um, go there. It, it, we're we're hoping to raise $1,000 because that covers the down payment for what he needs to get his neck looked at. Yep. Uh, Brandon is a super awesome dude. He's one of the first people that we befriended. Uh, at CCW, he's the first CCW person we had on the show. Yep, helped us uh, before out before we even started working with them in a fit in official capacity. Yep. So um, Brandon has a love for this business, especially for CCW, yep. that is unmatched yep. by anybody else. Uh, he lives and breathes you guys, and so yeah. and like that's that is who trained me whenever yeah. I started, and still is. And like any time that you see me, like if you if you're at CCW and you see me like cut a promo or you see me do anything. Chances are I've asked Brandon's permission like eight times uh, yeah. like that. And he's never yelled at me for it. He's always taken care of me. All of the training is not just me. He is always like he cares about people and he does. It's he's, a shame. It's a shame he's in this position, but this is a perfect opportunity to give back. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, so hopefully we can uh, get that going for him. Uh, and if we do and, you know, the problem's fixable, he's able to take care of that. Then we can get him back in a CCW ring. Uh, which is what we would love. Yeah, I uh, when when I had my hernia thing, which I still do, but um, thanks to donations through the GoFundMe that mm-hmm. a lot of you guys did, I was able to go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Um, I I've got the surgery on hold at the moment because they're worried about my blood pressure and stuff like that. But literally, I could not have done any of that without you guys. Mm-hmm. And I know how it feels to not have insurance, and that's what Brandon's going through right now. So yeah. this is one of those things that if you can donate, please do. If you know, take a month off from donating. To, if, if you were planning on donating to us for any reason, mm-hmm. take this month off. Donate to Brandon instead. Uh, just do what you can. He's yeah. he's one of the best guys and, that we know. He deserves it. And if you can't donate, it, just share it. Share it. If Let's someone get the word else, out. if someone else, if someone yeah. else sees it and wants to help, uh, that way they can do that. So yeah, get the word sure. out. Uh, help out Brandon. We greatly appreciate him. I also want to take a, a brief me- uh, second to uh, give a shout out to Roger. Uh, yeah, because he announced his retirement uh, earlier this week. Super shocking and Kinda, unexpected. Yeah, um, yeah, it's you know he had that big match with Billy advertised for CCW, so it's you know selfishly I hate to see him go because of how from the first time we saw him at Stride, yeah, we oh were just like, okay, we need him at CCW like yeah. immediately. When, when you He's, guys took me to Stride for the first time and we saw it was the uh, Midwest Mafia, yep, him, Jake Capone, and and Red Daniels. Mm-hmm. I remember going like, all these guys are great. But but him, yeah. There's something about he's him. legit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so he is, like being in the ring with him, and, and, and he's he an, and so he's, good. And he's another guy that you know we we've befriended. Yeah. And, yeah. and which is odd because he and we do, do not, not agree on a lot of on a things. lot of things. But and I said this on Facebook when I told him, you know, I'm sorry to hear what happened. Mm-hmm. I think he's a fascinating guy. I yeah. love talking. He to really him. is. I love debating with him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's one of the few guys that me and him can actually like argue and then message each other and be cool. Yeah. So yeah, I, I hope he sticks around in some capacity. I hope we see him still. I told like I sent him a message and I told him like he's like just by like watching him and hearing him talk has taught me a lot. And, yeah. You know, I I'm gonna miss seeing him at shows. Hopefully he you know comes around if he wants. But yeah, absolutely. He needs it to and like I know like it's it's Roger and how much he loves this this was not an easy decision for him right. to make so uh you i can just, tell by the way he did it just like that yeah you know what i mean just like, like you know what yeah didn't rip the band-aid off yeah, just, just just do it and get it over with so uh you know it's just you know thank him for one being a friend and two for just being such a performer yeah, and such, such a great uh talent so and hopefully he said he's stepping away he hopefully could, he yeah, could come back it's wrestling hopefully it's temporary right. i told i put in that on that post like if he gets like robot parts or like cadaver parts yeah like he'll be even scarier like when he's he a frankenstein back. yeah yeah so neat um, actually it'd be frankenstein's monster frankenstein right. was the the doctor and it's actually frankenstein okay so uh other plugs youtube.com slash cape championship wrestling our next batch is our next uh episode is up yes uh go check that I think out you can get plugs on wish if you know what i mean it's for your butt jesus christ i wasn't looking at wish don't go to Etsy for that stuff. Asa? That's what Wish is no. for. No. No. It's okay. dead. 